concert of the 2019 school year. Uh, to introduce our entire concert, this is Gabriella White. Let's hear for Gabby. guest speaker, Julia Wilkerson. Let's welcome her to the stage. Hi, my name is Julia Wilkerson, and I am a sixth grade bassoonist from Worthington Park Elementary School. We've learned a lot in sixth grade and band throughout the year. We've learned over eight different notes, a scale, tricky rhythms, and even a blues scale. We are excited to share with you a fun piece titled Magma. This piece was challenging for us, because it introduced us to a wide range of dynamics. Listen for how each instrument passes the melody from one section to another. Please enjoy Magma. Thank you. 
I got lost for a second. Give me a second. All right, and we're going to welcome Bryce up to the stage from our seventh grade. Hey, Bryce. Hi, my name is Bryce, and I'm an, I am the seventh grade band librarian. We will kick off our seventh grade portion of the concert by performing a difficult piece of music entitled Resplendence. Resplendence introduced us to dotted quarter notes and difficult harmonies. We worked extremely hard on this piece to different uh, wrenchier our dynamics. Hopefully you'll be able to hear us play softly and loudly throughout the whole piece of music. We hope you enjoy our splendors.
All right, so this next uh, piece is very special. Dean's going to kind of introduce it for us. It's pretty awesome. Here we go, Dean. Hello, my name is Dean Kaysen, and I'm the seventh grade band president. Before you hear our next piece, we would like to take a moment and show you something that is pretty awesome. I was involved with an amazing project put on by Worthing Way's own Mr. Canterbury. Mr. Canterbury decided to create a project in which an entire class's curriculum was built around a, lot, a live trip to Mars. It was not only a learning experience, but a fantastic way to learn about the seventh grade science curriculum. Before we play our next piece, entitled Space Journey, please direct your attention over to the screen to see, to see a short clip of this incredible journey. Nobody ever asked me. I'm the one 
a single kid, not a single kid, think about that for a second. When was the last class you walked through that you never ever asked yourself why are you doing this? And I mean, we achieved that in this class. If we could get people on Mars and like an entire like human civilization on Mars, that would be really interesting. And then different planets in our solar system. I mean, outside of our solar system. I think that in my lifetime, we were probably that I work at, I really am just, I, it's, Worthing Way and Worthington in general is just one of the most amazing communities, and, you, and I know you all know that, but I just have to say that. Now, I think if we believe hard enough, and we count loud enough, we might be lucky enough to have someone who looks kind of like an astronaut join us. So let's start at 10, everybody, ready? Here we go. 10. Now, Mr. Canterbury is going to conduct our band through the first movement of Space Journey. Here we go. So that was incredible. I'm very proud. Fantastic job. Absolutely. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and we're going to play the next two movements. It's tradition in concert band literature that when you have a piece that has more than one movement, we hold our applause until the whole piece is finished. So we're going to practice that. I'm all about practicing things here with our students and our audience. So here we go.
Well, now we are at our special time of the Hello Goodbye concert. This is a tradition here at Worthing Way, this concert in particular. Um, it's very exciting because we are saying hello to our incoming sixth grade class. So let's all give our sixth graders a big round of applause for their great performance. It also means that we are saying goodbye to our eighth graders. Now, it's not a true goodbye. It's a see you in just a little bit, because I love my job and the fact that I get to see them throughout high school. So no worries, it's not goodbye forever. Um, before I, I give out our awards for our eighth grade class, I wanted to talk about this eighth grade class in particular. You know, it's really special to be able to work with a group of young people who decide that they want to put all of their other things aside and work together to make a greater good. I personally believe that I think we need that in the world more than ever. And I think our students have shown that in a big way. Uh, they've been through three band directors in three years. It's very, very tricky for them. And yet they're still here every single day, smiling, excited to learn. And I think that says a lot about who these young musicians are. And I really am proud of them in every way, shape, and form. They've come a long way. So right now what I'd like to do is, if you're an eighth grade band member, could you please stand so we could recognize you and applaud you for your hard work and dedication. Is, is that music is one of those gifts that will give on and on and on as long as they continue playing, which is great. At this time, we're going to give away our, our important eighth grade awards, and these are three awards that I think are very, very important to our band program and our culture. So the first award that I'm going to give out goes to the person who has really shown a bunch of hard work and determination throughout the year. This is the Most Improved Band Member Award, and this student has made a huge impact in our band. I'm getting weird little cutouts. Um, and I just am beyond proud of every band student that we have, but this student really has made a lot of progress. So, the Most Improved 8th Grade Band Member goes to Miss Molly Champ. Here we go. Now, the next uh, band award that we have is our most outstanding musician. Uh, this musician happened to come to us halfway through the year, uh, and she did a, a fantastic, marvelous job, not only playing her own instrument, but helping others in her section, uh, and, and really is just a tremendous musician. So this year's most outstanding musician from the eighth grade class goes to Miss Kaylani Hassenfratz. Now, that leaves us with one more award for our 8th grade class, and this award is very important. For those of you who follow me on, I think they call it the Twitter. Is that what we call it now, kids? Is that it? Yeah. Is it Snapback? Did I get it right? Oh, okay. Well, I try to be cool on that. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I use this hashtag, hashtag bandfam. I'm a true believer, and what we do here is truly a family, and we support one another through everything and anything we possibly can. Um, I, I love every one of the kids in this band, and I will do anything for every single one of them. Um, but likewise, they will do pretty much anything for me, is what I found out. And especially, here's a story. I, I don't do this normally, but I'm going to tell this story because I think it should be told. We have a band member in the band right now who, two days ago, uh, accidentally, uh, well, she had an accident and uh, broke both arms, which is very painful. But she said, Mr. Black, I am going to be at that band concert. I don't care. Not only that, but she showed up with an awesome wind chime made out of like a pineapple, which for those of you who know my pineapple story, it's a really funny inside joke. But she came, walked up to me and handed me this today. And I don't have words. I mean, that's just amazing. So let's give it up for Katie over there in our saxophone section. All right, so 
Uh, back to the award, I got sidetracked. I do that sometimes in class. Um, the Band Fam Award represents someone who does everything, goes above and beyond, and constantly puts others in the band and the school above themselves. Uh, and that award goes to someone who's done a really tremendous job in our eighth grade. So this award tonight is gonna go to Miss Gabriella White. Now again, our concert wouldn't be totally complete if we didn't have our annual candy bar awards. So we've got to give our candy bar awards out. We're going to start with our sixth grade candy bar award. Uh, and I had mentioned this earlier, but I'm very, very impressed with a lot of our students. Um, but I think this goes without talking. I think that the person who deserves this candy bar award tonight is very easily Miss Katie from our saxophone section. Give it up for Katie, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the next person who's going to be receiving a candy bar award is going to be from our eighth grade. This person also came to us new this year, uh, from uh, new to Worthington. A uh, fantastic trumpet player, incredible uh, musician, and has done an amazing job both in our classical band and our jazz band. Um, he's done a, just a fantastic job with improv. So the eighth grade candy bar award is going to go to Mr. Ronnie Carpenter. Ronnie. Candy Bar is going to go to someone who is just absolutely incredible every day. Uh, you may notice that a lot of things that I'm saying you can apply to pretty much every student, and that's what makes this difficult. Um, who I would like to recognize today in our seventh grade, who's gone above and beyond all year. I'll give you a story about him personally. We were in the midst of getting ready for an important exam. And I think the students could tell that I was like, oh man, I don't know if we're going to get our music done. I don't know if we're going to get that information done on time. I just don't know if I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I had to take a deep breath. And then uh, immediately when I got home, I got an email. And the email said, dear Mr. Black, it looks to me that you're a little stressed. <laughs> so I went ahead and I created an entire study guide on Quizlet that I'm going to share with the class. I hope that's all right. How awesome is that, right? I mean, that's incredible. So the 7th grade Candy Bar Award is going to go to our 7th grade band president, Mr. Dean Casey. Give it up for Dean, ladies and gentlemen. me talking and blabbermouthing and all that good stuff. Did I miss anybody? I did. I did. Perfect. Now, I went out of order again. This is a tradition of mine, apparently, that I like to go out of order of my program. So, the good news is, I know we said the hello and the goodbye to the eighth grade. We're going to hear from them one more time in their song, Fire Dance.
All right, here we are, finally at the end of our concert. This should be a fun one. Uh, this is the first time that all 173 musicians in front of you have ever played this next piece. It could be awesome. It will be awesome, I promise you. So, we hope you enjoy. This is a pretty famous tune. Yeah, you, you know it. You'll recognize it, I bet. Ha <laughs> ha 